tug on the line You can't believe it's strength As the fight begins You work hard and bring it over the side Man, it feels good to reel this monster in Colorado Fishing Adventures Alright, well, hello and welcome again to the channel. Today I got something a little bit special for people who have a Hobie either Passport uh, 10.5 or 12. I'm actually going to be making some, actually I had made some adjustments to my seat to kind of raise it up. Uh, I got a couple of these ideas from a couple people from Facebook. Gave it a try with a buddy of mine and um, got things to kind of work here. And I'll show you kind of everything, lay a couple things out if you do have specific questions in regards to it. Just hit me in the uh, comments below and I'll try and get back to you with exactly some of the stuff that's that's required with this. I do have some stuff that's over here that I will walk through here briefly uh, to kind of show you some of the stuff. Of course, some of the cement and of course the pieces that will go on to this. So um, we'll get that going here uh, in a second here. So hang tight. We'll be right back. Also, I wanted to say we have a special guest here that's going to help me. It's my son. Uh, he's going to help me with the recording of, of this and I'll show you real quickly again. I put the seat down here to make it a little bit easier so when I start walking through all this stuff, you'll be able to see kind of everything pertaining to what I did. And um, like you say, if you have questions when things get going, we can, you know, add comments um, below. Also, if you can, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. And the like button too at the same time and we'll get you some information so again let's get some of this stuff going here and i'll show you exactly what it is thanks all right so as you can see right now here this thing will sit up roughly i think about three inches on this kayak which is the ten and a half mirage passport um again i had a buddy of mine help me out with all this stuff that i've got going here so i'm hoping this can help some others out too I did something with some stability because that was always a question too, it was about stability once you raise it up. Um, I can show you what I did, which actually helped me even before last year when I put something here to kind of help with some of that stability too. So um, this is what we did. I'm going to turn it upside down here. Uh, a lot of the things that you're going to need, I don't have the elbows, but if you see here real quickly, and you're going to need four, four for each one. So you got a, basically what's called the elbow here. This is, so you're gonna, you're gonna need four of these. So that way you got it forward towards the top and towards the bottom here. You're gonna need to get some PVC pipe. This is some PVC here. I'll even kind of show you. I got this at Lowe's. PVC 11120 uh, SCH 40. This was recommended, PSI, all that stuff. It's one and a, or it's half inch piping. Um, you can get them individually. They probably come roughly maybe six feet. And uh, I got two of them. I probably didn't need all of them there. But what you are gonna wanna do here is basically start off. And this one here, I actually had to order online because they didn't have this one specifically at Lowe's um, or at Home Depot. It's one that you gotta basically buy. So this is the first step is that you wanna take it Pop it on here. It takes a little twisting and maneuvering to get it on there. And as you can see here too, it's gonna to have to go under here unless you figure another option on your end for at least for the up here. So you'll do that for both of those. And then what you're gonna do is roughly, I think I took, this is probably, I think this might be the two and a half. I'm trying to see here. No, this is the right one. So this is, I think, two, no, two and a half. Yeah, three was a little too big when we did that. Uh, I thought it was a little too high. So if you cut these in like to two and a half, basically from the same piping as here, you can do that same thing. So again, cut four of those. That way you got one here, one there, and then two in the very back, as you can see here. So if you cut that, you can stick those on and in there and then of course the next step after that will be connecting the elbow uh, a lot of these things too you're going to want to do at some point is don't 
Don't glue them right away because you want to make sure that you're getting everything to where it needs to be. Because I, I caught at the end, I made a little bit of a mistake because I forgot to measure something and I'll show you that at the end here too. So I would recommend don't glue anything right away. Once you figure that it sits in where it needs to be in the kayak, then I would say recommend, yeah, again, this is the one I got. This was at Lowe's, it's a medium clear PVC cement. Um, and then just get some, buy some small, small brushes, small pack of them, like that. And because I'm not, I've already glued these all down, what you do is you take a little bit, kind of on this inside here, a little bit going around here, and then you would stick them in, okay? That you're gonna do for every spot that you see where there's a connection on here. Um, the next spot, after, next thing after that, is after you got the special order pieces, the elbows, you then also need to get these here, which are called trees. You know, somebody said T's, but I think they're trees. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, maybe they are T's. They actually look more like T's, but um, that's the other, you need four of those, the same thing. And what you need to do here to make sure they stick, you're gonna have to cut a little bit more of the PVC. So that way, I'll kind of see if I can demonstrate in some form or fashion. It's not gonna be with the normal stuff, but if you put that in here, glue it, there, that's what it's supposed to be. But of course, you've got everything here a little bit different. You got the elbow and then this T. The big thing then from there is to measure, you always wanna have a little bit, I think with my buddy, he get, you told about a half inch, if you want a little bit more, that's fine. That's ex, extra in here, so you can do that gluing on both the piece and also this PVC. Um, again, I don't have the dimensions of what this is right now. Apologize, but if it's something that you really, really want to know about, go ahead and hit hit me up in the comments. I'm more than happy to kind of give you a few more details on this thing. So, um, but as you see, like I say, it's about three inches high. You do have to bang this in. You then are going to cut the pieces here, match them up accordingly <clears throat> so that they'll fit. What I didn't do the first time is we actually aligned this thing perfectly. So this is right now, as you can see, is a little bit off on an angle. You got more spacing here than you do here. And the reason behind that, I'll show you in a minute, but that was critical. I glued the piece, shouldn't have. So we had to redo an, one, more, one more piece. Actually, one side wasn't glued, the other one was. So we had to redo it. And the reason why, and we'll come over here now, kind of show you on the boat real quickly and turn on this light. Hopefully it gives a little something here to show you. But I did not measure, I'll try to get it kind of close here, this area in here. So if you can see it, I had it, matching up exactly the same here. So it was hitting this and it was kind of like on an angle because I, did, I it wasn't laying flat. So if you do this, you can actually move this thing out a little bit more or what we did, we just angled, banged this thing a little bit further. So that way now, when it lays in there, it's laying flat, okay? You want this thing to be laying flat as much as possible. Again, all this stuff is PVC. This clamp here again, you gotta order online. Everything else, the elbow, the T's, they're all uh, half inch. So look for half inch on the elbows and the T's, half inch on the PVC piping. You're gonna hopefully have somebody if, uh, that might be able to work with you to cut this stuff up, or if you got the material, that's great. If not, I think Lowe's and um, Home Depot will cut this stuff for you too. So. Just make sure you make, get all your dimensions in line before you do that. Um, so hopefully, I know it went through kind of quickly, but again, if you've got questions and comments, I'll say it again, add it in the comments section. I will do everything and I should be able to answer anything for you. I'll try and even add the link in here again. Come down here. 
for this piece here because that one you got to order specifically from a from a, a certain online store because they don't sell those at either of the places so so um, this is basically a quick tutorial on everything and how to raise this again it's for the 10 and a half and 12 foot um, the names in Mirage, the Mirage Passport, sorry. So you got a 10 and a half and then you can also do the same thing with a 12 and a half. So again, <clears throat> real quick, but if you have questions, concerns, uh, I, again, I've said it before and I'll say it again, more than willing to help people out to get them because I know for me, it's a little bit easier with something with a, a seat a little bit higher. They currently don't sell anything like this. So I've seen people on Facebook and others do the same thing and, and it's helped them out um, when you get older like me um, it, it makes things a little bit easier so again I hope this was a good tutorial for you um, pressure there so again thank you everyone for joining the channel hope this helps you out all you Hobie owners not sure you might be able to do this with some others too but I've just taken this for the Hobie side of things and for my particular kayak here so again thank you for joining the channel please again hit the subscribe button or smash it um, you know hit the notification bell and then hit the like button if you can um, love to have more people following me I'm gonna try and do more stuff like this too I've got other things I'm gonna follow up with my kayak some extra things that I'll do after this is posted so again thank you for joining Tight lines, and thanks for playing. We'll see you later. Bye.